Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I'm so happy that you all could join me. Um, this is super, super, super exciting. I love doing uh, Facebook Lives, and today we are going to be discussing when should I trademark my business name. Um, inspirational music today is Cardi B's instrumental, Bodak Yellow, because I'm sure that I have a lot of entrepreneurs in attendance, and protecting your intellectual property is a major money move. It's a major boss move. Um, so... I wanted to make sure that we had the appropriate music uh, to to set the tone for today. <laughs> so um, if you are tuning in and listening, please share with me uh, your name, your business, um, and, uh, you know, uh, what you're doing in the online and offline space. Um, and so I'm going to introduce myself. I am Takora Davis. I'm the creator's lawyer and I own the creator's law firm. I help entrepreneurs build, grow, and protect their business by providing them with luxury legal service. I'm a business and trademark attorney and I absolutely love trademarks. I love intellectual property and I love what I do. For the month of August, our theme is, excuse me, not August, but September, our theme is trademarks. So everything that I'll be discussing is going to be surrounding that. We're going to be releasing two videos each week on Facebook and YouTube discussing trademarks. And today marks day one. And we're going to be discussing when should I trademark my business name. Um, so if you don't know what a trademark is, if you don't know the difference between a trademark copyright patent, I'm going to tell you, uh, patents are for invention. Copyright is for any artistic or literary work, but trademarks, they protect, protect your brand identifier. So uh, meaning your business name, logo, tagline, those are pretty much those main areas. It's very important to make sure that you protect your trademark because how else are people going to know who you are? They know you by your name or symbols that are associated with the business. And having somebody take that name, it could be detrimental to your business. So um, knowing what a trademark is, um, as it's the name, logo, tagline, um, uh, how can you get one of these things, you know, and how can your rights arise? The way that your rights to a specific trademark arise is through use. So you must use that mark and be the first person to use that mark associating it with particular goods and services. So if you're not using the trademark, uh, your rights are limited. It doesn't mean that you can't get trademark rights, but that's how your rights start, by actually using the trademark in uh, commerce. So that means when you use it in um, not just marketing and advertising, but actually providing a service or a product associated with that mark. So let's think about it. We look at Nike. Um, Nike has um, the name Nike trademarked and also the symbol, the swoosh symbol trademark, right? And Nike uses those that name and that symbol to sell goods and services. So they are in the tech space now because they have a running app. Um, they provide shoes, right? So they're selling shoes, uh, different athletic apparel, uh, bags, um, you know, uh, workout gloves. So Nike's trademark has been associated with so many different products and services, but for them to get the rights uh, to the name Nike with those things, they have to first provide them and offer them. Um, so really the major question here today that we're going to be discussing is when should I trademark my name? Um, if you are tuning in, when do you think you should trademark? I've heard a variety of answers from entrepreneurs. Some say I trademark my name after I make five figures. Some say I trademark my name after I've been in business for five years. Some trademark their name or try to take steps to trademark the name before they even launch or right after they launch. When do you think is the best time to trademark your name? I'm interested to see what you think um, and, and about this um, because a lot of people have different ideas about trademarking a name. So my opinion in trademarking name when you should do it is you need to trademark the name um, as soon as 
possible. Ideally, before you even launch your product or your business, you can take steps to actually trademarking it or soon thereafter. There are different types of trademark uh, applications that you can file, one being an intent to use, meaning you're reserving the trademark name. So if you know you're taking steps to open up a business, you have an amazing name, you don't want anyone to come and take it, then you can actually take steps to trademark the name by filing an intent to use application. What's nice about that application is like it's it's almost like you are reserving your trademark name. And this has um, often been used by people to um, prevent them from actually using the name in business, which is pretty cool. Um, or you need to trademark your name soon after you open up the business and you begin to make your first sales. Um, it's important because that's when your rights are prime because you have actually used the mark in commerce, which I absolutely think is cool. Um, I'm hoping you guys can hear me. The mark in commerce. Okay, perfect. You can. <laughs> so, great. Um, so, you want to make sure that you do it pretty soon after you open up the business and you make your first sale because that's when your rights, your rights to the mark are prime. This, of course, is we're assuming that you're not infringing on anybody else's mark and nobody else is using your same trademark in the same manner. Um, so I really think that if you can, trademark the name before you even launch. I have several clients that have come to me and they're planning to open up businesses within the next 6 to 12 months. And we filed their trademark application. Their name is being reserved. And in the event somebody starts selling, uh, or opens up their business before them, my clients are already ahead of the game. And I love that because they're forward thinking. A lot of people and a lot of entrepreneurs are very reactionary. They come to me and they want to protect their name after somebody else takes it. Whereas we can definitely file a trademark and get ahead of it. Um, and that's the best thing to do. Um, the end goal uh, when it comes to protecting your intellectual property and trademarks is to protect your business's assets. Uh, protect the property that your business owns. What is the vision that you see for your business? Do you want your business to be a six-figure business, a multi-six-figure business, a multi-million dollar business? If so, then the most valuable, one of the most valuable assets you have is your business's name. Why would you not protect it? Why would you not take steps to protect it? That is very, very, very important because that's how people find you and they distinguish you from the next business and from your competitors. When I say Nike, you might know or think of uh, Reebok, but only in comparison, but you'll never confuse the goods. But the same thing with Under Armour. These are all these huge brands in the apparel and athletic space. And we know and we um, associate their names with certain types of goods and services. But they're all different, right? So if you want to build this business that you love and that is set apart from other people, then of course it makes sense to protect the name um, and not try to uh, put it off for too long or put it off and hope that you can protect it whenever your business makes a certain amount of money um, because one, that's not guaranteed and two, someone else can beat you to the punch. Um, that's never a good feeling. Um, so. At the end of the day, the end goal is to build what you own. And I can never say that enough. You are investing time, attention, detail, sweat, equity. Um, just you're pouring out your heart and soul into a business. And if you don't have a trademark and you don't have all of your intellectual property secure for that business, then you are building up value in something that you don't have full ownership rights to. You want to make sure that if somebody else in a different state starts to use your trademark and your business name in the same manner, meaning this offering the same services as you or providing the same products, that you can stop them. If you don't have a federal trademark, your rights or you stopping them is going to be quite limited. So you want to make sure that you have full ownership rights to your mark. Um, and a way to do that is, of course, to hire an attorney to do that. Um, and that's what I do. I don't mind telling you my pricing um, to get me and my support to help you uh, file a trademark. It's $1,750. Um, that is going to provide you with a ton of value. 
um, with that price, um, I'm going to conduct a trademark clearance search, advise you on the use of your mark, um, let you know if I think it's strong enough to actually um, pass the scrutiny of the trademark office. I will file the application for you. I'll monitor that application over six months to a year because trademarks are not issued overnight. So you have the ongoing legal support of an attorney for um, a year. And really that's a value um, that we broke it down into monthly payments of $300 a month, um, which is excellent. Um, and then also um, responding to office actions on your behalf. Um, all of that is included in my trademark legal package. And it gives my clients a peace of mind that really is awesome because they know that an expert and someone who's very skilled at this is handling things for them. Um, so when should you trademark uh, your name, your business name? If you can do it prior to launch, I highly recommend it, or very soon thereafter. And it's never too late to trademark your name, even if you've been in business for several years, um, because as your business continues to scale and grow and uh, move to new heights, you want to make sure that you have the ownership rights over that mark so that you can monetize that mark to the fullest extent possible. And that may even be a path to licensing, which we can always discuss in a different email, or not email, but a different post. Um, and we can, we can discuss that via email. So, um, I hope that this vi uh, video provides you with a ton of value in terms of when you should trademark your name um, for your business and the logo. Um, the next video will be released on Friday, which I'm really excited to talk about. And that is going to be decisions, decisions. Should I trademark my business name, logo, or both? I often get questions about what should I trademark, not in addition to when should I trademark. The next question is what should I trademark? Should I do both? Should I do one? What should I do first? And there is a strategy behind that and uh, my own insight into that as well. Um, if you would like for continual tips on trademarks on an ongoing basis or even a free gift that I want to provide you with, then please text TRADEMARK to 444-999. You'll opt into my email list and I'll be able to provide you with um, a, a kind of workbook of sorts that allows you to conduct a legal audit in your business. And that's amazing because you're able to see what areas in your business are at risk and what have you done well in terms of a legal platform and standard. If you have any questions for me, please uh, leave them in the comments, send me a private message, or send me an email at decora at creatorslawyer.com. I'm so happy to be doing uh, and have the focus of this monthly trademarks, which is like my legal love. <laughs> it sounds really weird, but it's so fun for me. Um, so if you have any questions, just know that you can always come back to these videos, reach out to me, but stay tuned because I'm going to have a lot more value uh, for you this month about trademarks. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks, guys.